Now, if the n <clears throat> bigger number is on top and there's one on bottom, that means that it's actually smaller. So that the picture is bigger than the uh, real life object. The picture will always be on top. Okay. And then the real life object will always be on the bottom. So it's 24 for every one is what that means. All right. All right. So what is, uh, what are we looking at here in this next problem? We have a, a blueprint of a bedroom or a house rather. Uh, looks like there's three bedrooms, a bathroom, a kitchen, a living room, and a hallway. So this might be an apartment or a house that's really long. So it could be like a ranch home. I don't know. Normally there's some extra room if, if it's in a different kind of house. What is the actual area of the bedroom? So first what we need to do is figure out what the dimensions are in real life. So bedroom three, that's this one. So it's three by one. So don't find the area of any rectangle you do length times width. So don't just do three times one and get three. All right, start by turning it into real life. So we know one half inch is three feet. We know that the bedroom is three inches. How many feet is that? So here, how many halves go into three? There are six, so we're gonna do times six that's if you go sideways so there's so the bedroom's 18 feet by now i'll show you the other way so it's one half over three remember the models on the pictures on top and this time it's one so if we cross multiply this you get three equals one half x and how do you get rid of times one half you divide three divided by half is six so we know that this bedroom is 18 feet by 16 feet, six feet. All right, to find the area of this bedroom now that we're here, and it's a lot different than three times one is three, 18 times six is 108 square feet. Whoops. Okay. 108 square feet, or you can write feet squared. And there you have it. So that's scale, that's scale factor. Um, generally, we're gonna give you the scale. But if you have to make up your own scale, take two dimensions from a picture and divide them. Okay, put the picture on top and the real life image on bottom. Okay, any questions, talk to me in class. Um, message me on Canvas or in an email. Do whatever it takes to dominate this lesson. Have a great day.